Scouts in Age of Mythology are drastically different from each other, but can one of them be considered the best? In this video, we compare each sieve's unique scouting unit in different categories. The scouting unit for each sieve are as follows. Catascopus for the Greeks, Priest for the Egyptians, Ulfsark for Norse, Oracles for the Atlanteans, and Scout Cavalry for the Chinese. Scouting Ability just line of sight isn't enough to get an idea of how good they are as scouts. Multiplying the speed of the unit by the line of sight gets you how much line of sight they can see per second. This still gives a better idea, but it's not the whole picture. The units lacking in line of sight, like the Priest and Oracle, both have unique abilities to increase their scouting. Not to mention, not all sieves get one unit. China get two scouts, and the Atlanteans get three and each of the Egyptian sieves has its unique setup. Ra just has the priest and pharaoh, Isis can build obelisks faster, and Set has an extra scout in the hyena. I think the best way to test their effectiveness scouting is by doing a practical test. To do this I created a small map in the editor, which has a town centre in the middle, no trees, cliffs or any obstacles. Each sieve was given one minute to scout the area, placing a grid over the top with 100 squares, you can give an accurate estimate to what the percentage of the map was covered by counting the squares. Greeks are always a good baseline as they're pretty much the default sieve. They have a fast unit with high line of sight. This means they're able to cover a large portion of the map very quickly. As they only have one scout, I sent them around anti-clockwise in a circle, trying as hard as possible not to cover where I already have but getting as close as I could to it, and the scout did pretty well. As mentioned earlier, Egyptians have three ways to scout. I decided to make the Pharaoh Scout 2, so within that minute you get the maximum percentage. It is something that Egyptian players do on low hunt maps anyway. The Isis player is scouting with obelisks, Ra is just walking, and Set has the Pharaoh Priest and Hyena scouting. Norse is pretty simple, it's just the Elf Sark running around. Again, this is similar to the Catascopus Scout, where you only get one, so I was just circling the town centre, trying not to go where I've gone before. Uh, I only chose to do one Elf Sark, as that's what you get for free, but on some maps you do get a second one out. The Atlanteans have two methods of scouting, one standing still and one continuously moving. The benefits to the standing still is it's much easier, as you don't have to move them as much, because their line of sight is so little. For the first test I did this one minute into the game, but as the oracles hadn't really spawned, it isn't fair, as they don't all spawn at the beginning. So for the second test, I waited until they all spawned, took them out of the town centre and sent them on their different ways. China has two fast scouts, but with low line of sight. I sent one scout cavalry each way and tried to scout as much of the map as possible without getting in the way of the other one. But as expected from the most broken sieve, they are bound to do well in this. Aggression. Something important with scouts is their early aggression. So this is all the scouts having a 1v1 against each other. As the Atlantean scout has no attack unless it's a hero, I decided to change it into a hero for this, but it's no surprise that it dominates every 1v1. The order of best to worst are Oracle Hero, Ulf Sark, Catascopus, Priest, and then China, the Chinese scout winning no 1v1s with just one of them. 1v1 versus villagers. You might not know, but villagers in Age of Mythology are quite strong. One villager takes down all of the units except the hero Oracle, which beats it easily. This was no surprise to me, as villagers are insanely strong. Something annoying that scouts do is harassing the villagers, so constantly attacking them and then running away. While there's no real test for this, it's basically any mixture of high speed and some attack is best for this. Very annoying to play against and can be very strong. Advantage here goes to the Catascopus and Chinese scouts, the fast horses. Survivability versus town centres. Survivability in the Archaic Age is important for a scout. Apart from the 1v1s, the only other enemy at this point is a town centre. Running past the town centre can be very useful to get an idea of what your opponent is up to, maybe clocking their strategy from how their villages are split or what buildings are going up. The two cavalry units are the only ones with reasonable pierce armour and speed to run past. The others all die to the town centre. The Elf Sark is very close however, so you'd probably notice before it was taken out. The Priest and Oracle have abilities to see the town centre without getting in range, so it's not the end of the world, but not quite as strong as being able to run past it. Comparing units that are so different is not an easy task. I've made a table of each of the categories that were covered if you want to pause and have a look. My overall thought is the Catascopus Scout and the Scout Cavalry are probably the best scouts in the game. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next one.